Hey guys, Sergeant Mario 101 here. Welcome to my new Let's Play of Doremi Fantasy, Mylon's Doki Doki Adventure. Now, there's many different translations to that Mylon's Doki Doki Adventure part, but for this Let's Play, I'm mainly just going to call it Doremi Fantasy, alright? So, let's begin. Now, uh, we've already seen this crap, we don't have to look at it again. Anyway, Japanese text cannot read this because this is an imported game. If you guys must know, I'm playing this on the Wii's Virtual Console. This game was never released in America originally, and thus it was on the import section of the Virtual Console. This game, if you don't know, is was originally released on the Super Famicom in 1996, and then in 2008 it was brought over to the Virtual Console in North America. Pretty much the same as the original, and that means no English text. Okay, well, to be fair, there is a little bit of English text in this game, and really, there's nothing in this game you really need to know about. Well, how do I put that? There's nothing you need to know about in the form of text. Anyway, let's get started with the first level. Now, for those of you who don't know, our character, Mylon, of course, from the title I told you about, is a little self kid. If you didn't tell from the opening, we have to save a little fairy from some devil. Ah, and I just got hit. But for those of you who don't know, this is actually not the first game starring Mylon. His first adventure was. I'm not sure if it was his first adventure, but I think it was. It was on a game for the NES called Mylon Secret Castle. And. God damn! It. How do I put it? was horrible. It was trash. If you guys want to know about that game, look up the review by the Angry Video Game Nerd. You can tell that game was trash. But this game is a sequel to that game, and guess what? This game isn't trash. It's awesome. It's a 2D platformer. The other game was kind of also a 2D platformer, but it involved heavily on puzzles. This one, not so much, and that's it for the level. Pretty much a tutorial level. I didn't even go over the controls. I'll go over them now. Just wait till the level starts. Okay. Press. Oh wait. The, I should mention this is also on the Classic Controller Pro that I'm using right now. Press the B button to jump. Press A. A does nothing. Y. Y is your attack, which is a little bubble wand. Shoot that bubbles, traps enemies in them, and you can blow them away or push them away. Sorry. That's how you defeat them. Yeah. Press down to duck. Uh, press. Plus on the controller to use bring up the start menu, pause menu I should say, and press the minus button, aka the select button, to exit the level. Yep. You can exit the level anytime you want. I believe. Or you have to be standing to do that. L and R do nothing, and yep, that's it. The controls are there now. Time to swim. Am I able to swim? I guess not. Right! I gotta admit, the game's graphics look really great for the Super Nintendo. Emmy, or no? He gets pissed when I'm on him. Actually, I did not mention that in this game, these levels, you have to collect these. I don't even know what to call them. Music. Token things. Not the music notes you saw before, no. Not like in Banjo Kazooie. Not these music notes, but. Another kind of music note that's like. sparkly or something. You guys will understand once we find one. Let's see here. Just trying to. find one, but it looks like we're not going to. Um. These shirts right here, they give you an extra hit, but also change your color costume to make you look like Link, maybe. If you want to think it like that. I don't know if there is one of those sparkly music note things in this level. I think there might have been at the beginning of the level. I'll have to check later. 
fact, I don't even know if I'll be able to complete this whole world in this level. I might actually. Also, the music here in this level, I love it a lot. Just listen. Yeah, I just like the music a lot, and by the way, that candy thing that we've got, what it does is that it gives us, well, actually, better show it better. That'd be better than actually explaining. Fall, and it helps us get back up. Don't get off screen, Mylon. And yeah. Also, I forgot to mention another thing about the controls. If you hold the Y button, charge in. Bubble attack. Yep. You're actually required to do that in the next level in order to complete it. So, good thing to know. Anyway. Close. By the way, when your clothes are green like this, you get three hits, just letting you know. When your clothes are green, that means you can take three hits. When they're blue, that means you can take two hits. And when you're red, that means you can only take one. And then you die. Or, you lose a life, sorry. The maximum amount of lives I believe you can have is nine. Like a cat. Anyway, how many of those music things do I need? I believe, doesn't it tell you? I guess not. I'm just trying to search the whole level because I believe it's out. I believe it's in here. Up in the D-pad to enter. Er, no, mini game. Finally, something I can read. And stuff I can't read. Great. Shoot. Did I shoot it? I think I did. Okay, press B to shoot. If, I, if there's a laughing dog here, then... <laughs> no, I'm not even gonna... No, I'm not gonna go there. Seventy points. So what do I get? A one-up, okay. I thought, judging by that music, I wasn't gonna get any bonus. Because that didn't sound like happy music. Oh yeah, hold the Y button to run, by the way. <laughs> Should have mentioned that. Sooner. Yeah, if you charge, pretty much, if you run it and charge at the enemies while just pressing the Y button, you can pretty much get him any time. Oh, yep. Got new power basically means I'm invincible, so go crazy! Not that crazy! We're gonna fall! Anyway, over here, I believe, is where the power thing is. No? It's not. Damn it, where is it? I think it's somewhere around here. Wait, there's a new power-up over here where these clouds are. Gotta show it. It's probably my favorite power-up in the game. Hell, it is my favorite power-up. This looks like the Pegasus boot from Zelda. Guess what it does here. Hold the B button and it helps you float. Mylon, he floats. Hey! <laughs> like I said before, I love the animation in this game. Really, really good. Especially for Super Nintendo. Let's 
because they Hudson Soft put a lot more effort in this game than they did with the NES game. For one, they actually made it good. I can get all the music notes. Nice, nice. Candy, nice. I believe also if you collect the clothes, they actually also give you music notes if you already have a green one on. Right, where are those damn music note things? I gotta find one. You need to collect them, otherwise you won't be able to get to the last area of the world. I believe it's... No. Mm. Oh well. Anyway, this is what I was talking about. You need to do that charge attack if you want to complete this level. Anyway, goal. What's the gimmick of this level? Bouncing enemies, huh? Leaves. Ow. Oh god, lightning bolts. Remember those from the first game? Yeep. Man, they were really up the they really did a great job at the animation of Mylon, especially in these wind scenes. I mean look. It's an animation for him even when he's floating. He's holding on to that cap. Don't lose the hat he stole from Lank. I think he's gonna scold us now because we don't have those music notes. Yes, we gotta get all these music instruments, but I believe. Hang on. Oh no, actually I'm wrong. Must be thinking of the later levels. Or worlds, I should say. Yeah, so... I'm wrong, it's not in the first world, it's in the later worlds, okay. Anyway, now... It's boss time. Let's do this. Oh, no. Nope. Getting a little cocky. Gotta go through his... Dungeon first. First dungeon, then boss. Can I jump on you? Whoa! What is that? Okay, enemies respawn. Yeah, just about anything will hurt you in this game. Anything living. Okay, not that. A lot of pathways to take. Like Metroid. Am I seriously compare? Or oh, wait, or maybe it could be like the original Mylon. Except not the part where you have to shoot bubbles everywhere just to reveal a door. Okay, ignoring that. Whoa, 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 whoa. By the way, if you die, you'll lose your Pegasus boot. I don't know if that's its official name, but I'm just gonna call it that. Because it reminds me of the Pegasus boot from Zelda. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Maybe that opened that door that we couldn't go through. Or, not door, sorry. Wood. Damn it! Indeed it did. I hope I'm going the right way.
Oh, whoop, oh, 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 oh. Another earthquake. Oh, thank you. Key! Guess now that we can open the door to the boss's lair. See, yeah, want like Zelda, kind of. Closest thing you're gonna get to. Do I even want to compare this game anymore to Zelda? I don't know. I guess this is the closest thing you'll get to a second side scrolling Zelda game. <laughs> Not counting those crappy you know what games. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm not even gonna mention them. Anyway, yeah. That's it. Let's go. And that's it. And here I thought I was gonna have red clothes and I was gonna have to go back to the second level. Or third level, sorry. To get him green again. Anyway, boss time. Wood guy! You are not Woodman! Woodman is more awesome. Freaking threw leaves at us. Yeah, we just keep shooting bubbles at him. Tries shooting... Launching a bird, I should say, at us that... Cannot be hurt from our bubbles, and... Falling on the ground and making us... Immobilizing us. Anyway, he's blowing up. Like a robot master does. And that's it. The flute. Okay, we got one musical instrument. Happy, happy, joy, joy! Anyway, ice cream land. Er, cake land? I see cake. Oh yeah, press L and R to switch between worlds. Anyway, though, that's it for this episode of Doremi Fantasy. So next time, we're going to explore this sugar world. Yeah, I'll call it that. See you guys, then.